Today's Healthy Lifestyles guest is being honored at tomorrow's fundraiser for the Vascular Birth Mott Foundation being held at the Whitney Polo Grounds in Saratoga. Dr. Edwin Williams of the Williams Center for Plas Facial Plastic Surgery is one of the founders of the group and a major contributor to the organization. He's here to tell us about the work he does, and Autumn's trying to tell us about the work that he did on her. She's here with her mom, Heidi. Thank you for bringing her in. She's 20 months old, and she's standing because mom can move around and keep her a little bit more comfortable. Um, what was she born with? What did it look like? Um, at first it looked like a bruise, and, um, and as the day went on it got darker and darker. Um, it, we were told it was a fairy bite, and then later we found out it was a hemangioma. You want to move your bangs and show us sure. what's there now? There's hardly anything at all. Yep. Dr. That looks you worked wonderful. on her, what, about four months ago? About two or three. Yeah, a couple months ago. ago. So that's an incredible. We're going to see some video of okay. some of the vascular birthmarks that kids are born with, and, and then people will understand how great it is to see Autumn looking so good. If we can roll that videotape. Right over here, you see the right. little girl with the hemangiona. Is that uh, called a hemangioma? Right, that was mm -hmm. a uh, child I did, uh, I don't know, about five or six years ago. Can um, mommy? Yeah. But basically, uh, vascular birthmarks were largely ignored until about five or six um, years ago. And uh, Is that Autumn? Yep. That's Autumn. And the mission statement of the foundation, the Vascular Birthmark Foundation, which we founded um, about... Uh, six years ago was one to network children into mm -hmm. treatment and two to educate other physicians that yes something can be done uh, for some of these kids. So the, that child can he has a normal mm -hmm. That's um, I think they'll show his uh, post-operative photograph hopefully next that's oh, him now. That's wonderful. But um, you know this was a child that was told that this would go away and you know as they get to be about three or four years of age it really becomes quite traumatic um, to walk around sure. like this. Now most hemangiomas don't need to be treated surgically. Mm -hmm. But then there's another entity, poor wine stains, that really should be treated. And, um, you know, up until very recently, we weren't able to do that. So and in five years, you've done a lot of work. What are your future goals? Um, I think really to continue to contribute more to medical school curriculum. We've published a number of articles, and now we're um, very involved with our national teaching organization to disseminate that information. All right. And the Vascular Foundation fundraiser at the Polo Grounds, tell me when it is and... It is, it is the Whitney Field, Whitney Field Saratoga Polo Club, and um, it will be tomorrow night at 5 o'clock, and it goes till about 8.30. Okay, I know it's $75 a ticket, and they can call your office if we have the phone number, 786-7000, uh, and they'll refer you to somebody who can get your tickets for that event. Heidi, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. Autumn, thank you for coming in. You're beautiful. She's a lovely little girl. Thanks okay. so much. Thank, thank you, Trish. Thank you.